Hello friends, I am Hardik Padal and I am going to start a new web series for Django tutorials. So what is Django? So Django is a web framework written in a Python. So you can create web applications if you are a Python developer using Django web framework. So there are many more web frameworks are available similar to Django like uh, Flask, Web2Py, Pyramid, okay, and there are many more, CherryPy. So so in, in in between them why we should choose django framework because if you have any concept in your hand then you can quickly transform that concept to the web applications using django web framework using less code and more quickly right so django itself uh, provides three main points in his website in its website like ridiculously fast that I, as i have mentioned Django is designed for developers to take applications from concept to complete, completion as quickly as possible, right? And as it is, uh, and uh, along with that, security is also they provide. Like sometimes you did small mistakes if you are write uh, any web application directly from Python, then you might miss some kind of uh, very uh, avoid many common mistakes, security mistakes, right? So Django takes care of that also. And this is extremely scalable. That means uh, if you have started a new new firm with uh, uh, building one software in Django web application, Django, then uh, and uh, and suddenly you got a very uh, you got famous, and then you need more uh, scalable solution for that. So you can uh, quickly uh, convert to Django to the flex uh, large scale, right? So and if you want to uh, see the example that instagram is the best example so when they started instagram in django uh, it was very small right but suddenly they got 10,000 uh, users and they need very uh, uh, need a good uh, scalable solution so they just uh, django provides that much ability to convert into the large uh, for the large application so it provides that kind of performance as well along with these three things uh, django has a rich community okay it supports uh, django very well then uh, it has built-in not built-in but third-party packages are available so if you are uh, creating any web application using django and if you need something let's say for example if you want to build a cms using django then django cms itself is available which provides almost all kind of functionality in cms it's required right then uh, django is framework which is very famous nowadays because almost all uh, web applications are built like in a fashion that apis are separated and uh, front end is separated right so mostly you will uh, build all the applications uh, using the rest so django rest framework is uh, very much famous right now and there is one more framework like this that is tastypy okay so so similar to that there are many uh, many uh, these all are categories you can see here like this see many more right so you will see that and you will uh, go, you will use them as well as you need in future right so so this is why uh, you should choose django ahead of other frameworks now let's uh, try to install this django in our uh, platform any os platform so if you are using windows then it's good because i am using windows here and if you are using linux then there is nothing to worry about because it is very easy if you have installed uh, python language already available then you just need to have a pip that is python package installer which is uh, useful to install django framework because django itself is, uh, is a python package right so let's quickly see that so which python version i have installed you can see like this this is 3.6 and anyway i am going to use 3.6 uh, for this whole web series so also you have to uh, you should uh, you you can choose your own there is nothing to worry because uh, this will not make any change uh, if you are using the latest framework but which uh, uh, but i am going to use django version 2.0 right so and, and for that actually uh, python is required above 3.5 so according to that you, you you need to install right okay so 
let's see it is installed or not pip freeze it's a command uh, for uh, getting whatever the package are installed so list will provide us right so that will, list will have yeah so is it installed django no right okay one more thing uh, if you do not have a version which you want uh, in the python and you have default version 2.7 and if you are using that version for many many purposes and still you want to create latest web application using django 2.2 then definitely you should have 3.6 right but you don't want to make it default so you just install 3.6 and create a virtual environment so create to create uh, to install python 3. Points, uh, to install virtual environment and create that you can view my video uh, which is available in python series and uh, how can i how can we install just very simple command virtual environment then python p and then just give the path of your version okay so my python 3.6 uh, python interpreter is there and whatever you on uh, the name you want to give that like 3.6 okay so actually i have uh, already created this version here if you want to see here it is version 3.6 right and uh, just let me quickly activate that okay so we don't need to have source because in this in windows uh, we just have bat file which you need to run like this uh, this then scripts and then activate okay now environment active activated and now you just need to install like this pip install django if you do not mention any version it will automatically install the latest version of django and if you want to install specific lower version then you can do like this if you want to install below 2.0 but latest then like this 2 ok but i am going to install latest one so i just put pip install and django i don't want to mention the version so it will automatically take the latest so in my system actually this version i created uh, just for demo and i haven't i have already installed because uh, in my pc it takes time to install so i installed preview uh, pre-installed so i can show quickly so now if you will see the how many packages are installed django is there and, and is it working or not to check that just like this python and then import Django, right? And Django dot get version. So that's how you can see the version of Django. Now it is installed, and now you can work on Django web application. So in next video, I will explain how can we start the new project through Django. So until then, see you soon. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for watching this video.